I love to travel all kinds of places. I go to Las Vegas quite a bit. Uh, my favorite place in Las Vegas is a, a hotel that I work called the Plaza Hotel. It's right downtown. My favorite piece of gambling paraphernalia in the world is in the lobby of the Plaza Hotel. It is from 1974, the Elvis Presley slot machine. This machine is so old, it's a quarter operated machine, you still have to put the quarters in one by one. There is no bill feed, it's that old. This machine is so old, you have to pull the handle to spin the reels. There is no spinning button, it's that old. But here's the great thing about it. When you get a jackpot, Elvis, Elvis, Elvis Aaron Presley, dead for 40 years, he will still sing a song to you <laughs> from the bowels of the machine. And this is irresistible to people my age. I check in 10 o'clock in the morning, Plaza Hotel. There's a woman there, she's my age, she's working the Elvis machine like a second job. <laughs> quarter, quarter, pull, pull, quarter, quarter, pull, pull. Get my key, go to my room and take a nap, come down at noon for lunch. Same lady at the same machine. I have lunch, go for a walk down Fremont Street, come back at three, same lady at the same machine. Back to my room, I take a nap, have a dinner show at six, shower down at six o'clock for three shows that night, get done at two o'clock in the morning, back in the lobby, same lady at the same machine. I said, ma'am, God bless you. You stick that many quarters up my rear end, I'll sing how I'm to you. I walk up and down Fremont Street between shows to get some air, and I find myself in front of a classic Las Vegas business establishment, the Glitter Gulch Gentlemen's Club. Uh, this is a family show, and we have people here who I'm sure uh, have never been to a gentlemen's club uh, or really know what that's about. So to describe that in terms that do not offend anyone, we shall see. My, my. Um, it's a dance club where the loveliest ladies in Clark County, Nevada perform interpretive dance to contemporary music. It is much like ballet. <laughs> and as in ballet, there is a bar on the wall that the dear girls can hold on to should they lose their balance. <laughs> so too the Glitter Gulch has a vertically installed uh, bar made of a highly polished metal uh, that they are allowed to hold on to so they don't lose their balance. And Las Vegas being in the desert, it's very hot out there. Uh, should our performers uh, overheat during the course of their interpretive dance, they're allowed to remove encumbering items of unnecessary garmentry. <laughs> and I think we shall leave it at that. And as they often do in Las Vegas, there is someone on a bar stool in front of the club to entice people to come back and see the show. As I walk by, there is in fact a young lady, about half my age, and lovely as she can be. She's sitting on a bar stool. I walk by, she says to me, I like your tie. I said, excuse me? She said, I like your tie. I said, are you flirting with me? She said, yes, I am. I said, young lady, I'm a middle-aged man from the American Midwest. If you want to get my full attention, do not discuss my tie. <laughs> you would like to get my full attention? Tell me how much Metamucil costs at Walgreens. <laughs> Talk fiber to me, now you've got my attention. Well, she goes, I work here at this particular club, come back and see the show. I said, I'd love to see the show, but I, I, I'm a comic at the Plaza Hotel. I have three shows myself tonight. She said, what time do you get off? I said, I get off at two o'clock in the morning. She said, I get off at two o'clock in the morning. Why don't you go by at 2.15, take me to breakfast. We'll go maybe go to a late, late night club, go back to my place, do some hiking tomorrow. I said, whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. Number one, you're half my age. How appropriate is that? But more importantly, I'm a married man. I probably shouldn't do something like that. Then she says, well, how married are you? <laughs> really? How married am I? Well, let me think. I'm flat broken. I've lost the will to live. You tell me. 